Hi everyone, this is Tina Adam Stoffel with Tina's Fine Arts, and I want to demonstrate mixing greens with you today, um, or mixing color overall, but this is, happens to be focused on greens. Um, what I'm doing is working with a very dark green, and this is uh, a mixture of a Prussian blue, as you can see, where I've scraped that up. It's a very deep blue. And it, I've used it in skies before, but I, I think it's a little bit too much green in a sky for me. I'm using this for some um, a floral painting commission that I'm working on currently. And this is a sap green that I'm adding. This has worked really good because this client wanted deep, dark, rich colors. So you can see the two kind of blending together here like this, right? All right, so you get what you want right there. Now, the thing is, if you've been following me on social media, I'm on Instagram and Facebook, Tina's Fine Arts. Uh, well, this is just the beginning of this painting session, but I get uh, pretty pretty messy. But you have to clean your knife in between uh, so you don't contaminate for other color mixing. So this is medium, and what I am using is, it is <clears throat> Because I went the oil paint thick, it's a Gamblin Galka gel. You can hear the fan I have going in the background. I, I really don't notice much of an odor, but it's always good to work with ventilation. All right, and so I'm going to grab a little white. Not too much because it will dull it and make it look chalky, so just a little at a time. You see that? Now you can see the colors a little there. So that will go in my darker spots. I can add a little bit more of the sap green to it. Um, pull the white over here because it's some more show up. I'm going to make sure you really press your knife down into it, see, because it'll continue to get off of the knife there. I'm going to finish adding that gel. That helps it spread and maintain a thick texture on the canvas. Okay, so let's go have fun with another green color. This is cerulean blue. I already know I'm going to need this, so let's grab it while I'm talking. This is the gel again, medium that helps the paint spread and dry for oil paint. <clears throat> See there, I'm going to get that away because here it's put next to this. Apparently, I didn't have it good and clean. All right, so this is a cad yellow light and cerulean blue. It makes more of a vibrant green. Can you see that coming together like that? All right. And if you want to dull it, because it, it, it is pretty bright on the canvas, so I like to add just a little white, or you can even add like a, uh, a tiny bit of orange to tone it down too. Orange or a yellow orange, which that's a Hansa yellow and that's a cat orange. So even though I'm painting with greens, they do have these colors in them. And it tones it down a little bit. All right, let's pull a pinch aside and I'll show you right here. Let's see, that's probably not a good spot, too close to the blue. Let's come over here by this. A pinch of orange. And be careful, the cad's real strong and I'll turn it brown real quick, which is exactly what I just did. See what it's doing here. So it can take me a while uh, to prepare a palette and the colors for painting. There's a lot of color theory that goes into it, so I can spend a good 20, 30 minutes getting set up by the time I lay out my colors and get some of them mixed to start. So anyway, that gives you an idea of how to mix colors. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like and share. Have a great day. Oh, and subscribe at tinasfinearts.com. Bye.